गुड इवनिंग मैम गुड इवनिंग सर गुड इवनिंग मैम गुड इवनिंग सर गुड इवनिंग अजय You can start now, sir. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Good evening, my dear students. So once again, you are all are warm. Welcome to the wonderful session of the biological classes, particularly molecular basis of inheritance. Finally, what we have discussed, you know, DNA fingerprinting, isn't it, my dear? So already we saw it. What are the steps they were involved? What are the steps they were? they are following all those things already we discuss and uh, how will you identify the dna fingerprint with the help of what are the chemical substances that were used how many times it will take so all those things already we discuss isn't it my dear okay will you please ajay yes sir Uh, which uh, uh, chemical substances we are using, my dear? Which chemical substances we are using? So, ah, uh, which substances we are using? For the DNA fingerprinting technology, you understand? I'll let me discuss, no, my dear. Sir, Hello. sir, sir, sir. Yes, sir. It is. It the. It the. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Some bromide, sir. Ethy, ethylene bromide, sir. Ethylene bromide. Ethylene bromide, sir. Ethylene bromide. Ethylene bromide. Don't forget, my dear. Don't forget, please. Okay, it is very, very important. Okay. One more is that after the restriction endo nucleus is already, you know, what about after the uh, using of endo restriction nucleus is there no? So, what will be the charge of the DNA molecules, my dear? What will be the charge? Sir, not so, sir, sir. No, okay. Because last class you didn't attend, that's why uh, uh, slight uh, uh, confusion. Okay, no need to worry. So, I will fulfill it. Okay. See here. Yes, sir. Okay. Listen. See, see, southern plating method technique already we discussed, isn't it, my dear? Okay. And one more is that yes. you should note it down. Very, very important. How many time? How many hours it will take? You know the setup. Also allowed to twelve to thirteen hours. This is also very, very important. Okay. 
So after that, what happened? And you have to give some presage. See that one? The southern plating technique already we discussed. Is, this was discovered by the name of the scientist called as E.M. Southern in the year 1975. Isn't it? After that, what happened? You know, the electrophorous gel to nitrocellulose, how it will be transferred, you know, by the process. See here? So this is the class block already told you. This is not but the electrophoresis, isn't it? Electrophoresis. Okay. So from here, there is a gel, is there? The above the gel, there is a nitrocellulose membrane, and you have to add so many papers. Okay. And above the papers, you have to put a weight, then only gives a pressure so the DNA molecules of the strand in gel. It adhere on the surface of the nitrocellulose membrane. Okay, it can be visible. Okay, how it will be? You no, know, see that structure. It can be easily understand. See that one. So this is the structure it will obtain. See that this is called as nitrocellulose. Okay, so this is called a sorry. This is the nitrocellulose filter paper. Here the gel is there. We are placing on it. We are putting the weight. So what happen? You know the nitros cellulose filter paper okay the uh, it has a copy it has a copy from gel to nitrocellulose paper okay gel to nitrocellulose paper so then how it will be visible just to imagine my dear this is very very important my dear last class we discussed don't let me only attend see here so following the fixation step the membrane can then be used for the hybridization process what is the meaning of hybridization? See, the prop can be single standard DNA or RNA that has a complementary sequence to the plotted DNA. So, I will show you how it will be. Labeling of prop can be done by the radioactive or non radioactive methods. Okay, normally, any one of the uh, printing, printing work means particularly the molecular printing, we used the radioactive substances already we discussed it. Okay, see that one structure, it will be better. See here, this structures. So, this is the DNA molecule. Can you see this DNA molecule, my dear Ajay? Yes, sir. Oh, this is the DNA molecule. Okay, so it undergoes a denaturation already in our robot. You will get it the two stands separately. After the two stands separately, we are using the DNA prop. What is the meaning of DNA prop? Means it has a radioactive substances, radioactive it coated a particular a nucleotide. It is given as a star symbol, isn't it? So it is easily bind with the a gene of interest, which gene we are going to amplify or separating. Okay, it can be easily bind. You will get it like this structures. See that? These are the two stand is there like this. From this one stand, which one fixed? No, DNA prop is fixed. Okay. So, this is called as DNA prop. It is also a radioactive labeled one. It can easily fix the gene of interested where there is a nucleotide present in it. It can be easily the DNA prop also joined together. You form look like this success. This is very, very important. As a result, what happened, you know? So, after the formation of this structure, okay, we can see the nitrocellulose paper look like this one see that a nitrocellulose paper so the dark band is that isn't it the dark band the dark band indicate the hybridizes with the labeled dna or rna prop okay so in between there is a smallest molecules also present in it but it cannot visible because it is a lightest molecule it do not have the prop when the prop of DNA molecule with the hybridization with the DNA look like a dark band like structures, dark band. So, see the X-ray film, you can see the visible like this. This is the appearance of the uh, 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 nitrocellulose paper. So, here the dark band is, a, here is the dark band. In between there is a, a molecule is there, but it cannot be visible because it's a light band in nature. Okay, which one? A bond with the prop, it can be look like a dark manner. See that one? So, this is the structures. Okay. Okay. So, then see here. 
the filter is washed and an x-ray film is the placed x-ray film is placed over the filter about three hours you have to fix the weight also okay up to the three hours radiate prop make a dark spot that is the things already we discussed on the film why because the combination of both is there see see the structure this is the single stand only it cannot visible suppose where there is a dark this combination is there the single stand with the prop so look like a dark band okay it appears uh, as a dark band so in between what happened there is no prop that is very that is the meaning okay you got it that points okay see that one it uh, it up to three hours see that radioactive props make a dark spot on the film and so on irregular pattern of the dark spot develop on the x-ray film for every dna samples is noted down here see here this is very very important i will show you how it will be see so this is considered here this is considered here uh, uh, nitrocellulose film okay the dna molecules move this way just imagine in this side there is a positive charge this side negative charge is there okay so here so there is a what is a spot okay imagine there is a what is a there is a small well so we are going to load the dna molecule okay this is the dna molecule loading pit small pit like this okay okay so here also you know about the connection so here there is a connection is there so this one is negative charge and the opposite side there is a what is a positive charge is also there okay we are obtaining the band here we are obtaining band how it will be you know the structure will be like this isn't it the structure will be like this i will show you how it will be okay and one more is that okay you have to place it like this okay the samples all look like this one which one it has is prop so the structure will be very dark like structure they told isn't it the dark like means see the structure will be like this see the structure see so in this place there is a dark band is there so what is a dark band the dark band indicate the which one you know the dark band indicate the so dna molecules as well as the prop combinations this one is considered as a dna molecule plus what is that prob okay the prob is already you know about it is nothing but the, what is that my dear so they put a star okay this is called as what is a symbol of this one you know radioactive radio okay so radio active active prop okay so so this is very very important so the radioactive prop okay got it my dear ajay yes, yes, yeah so so this is very very important so what will be the structure i will uh, 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 screen out this part okay how it will be no see the one here another one is also here another one another one another one see this, this is the first row i take i took here okay then next one is how it will be see the dark band in between there is a dark band is there see the dark band like this so this is the combination they told isn't it this is the dark band okay this dark band is here just imagine okay likewise how many samples are there you know there are i here i have taken 1 2 3 4 and 5 and 6 samples also there six samples they move towards the where minus 2 positive directions isn't it see it there okay so this like the structure okay i simply i draw the structures you just to follow it okay so in between what happened you know there is a different samples have been reported different samples mean you can imagine uh, whatever it may be 
you can imagine whatever it may be like this so so these are the dark band obtained here the dark band is also each one it has a dark band okay here here also so these are the dark band the dark band is denoted as the combination of the which one you know the exact the desired gene of the dna molecule combined with the prop okay so that area will be look like in uh, nitrocellulose uh, film eh? so dark like structures so remaining there is a, a light color structure so it is improper mannerly arranged in proper manner this one is dark one and also light one light so this one is also light okay this one is also light so these are all are dark band this is denoted as a dark band so d denoted as dark okay so unequally what is that present the diagram so this is very very important so, so this one okay okay are you understand my idea ajay are you understand yes sir yeah. okay okay see here so the irregular pattern of the dark spot develop on the x ray film for every dna sample this is very very important this is the dna print of the individual suppose if we want to take any one of the plant or animals after the samples isolated from the uh, uh, animal sources mean blood sample particularly wbc and then it under, undergo the process called as a, a, a cutting process with the help of molecular scissors restriction endonucleases then you will get this fragment isn't it my dear you will get the fragment simple simple fragment fragments you will get it sure. after time Yes, that simple fragment is a negative charge don't forget my dear that is negative charge after loading what happened you know the negative plus negative what happened is neutralized so they can migrate towards the positive charge okay that time what happened you will obtain the band formation how it will be with the prop also prop also move on to the uh, gel so that time what happen you know improper or irregular pattern of the dark spot you will get it because prop attached with it you know that components look like a dark so without prop it is look like a light color that is the difference my dear okay so all the dna prints on the x ray film collectively comprise the dna fingerprint pattern so this is very very important so this is the exact what is the structures so these are the pap prop already show it okay this prop means what is that dna prop with hybridizes with the labeled okay dna or rna so in between there is a molecule is there but it cannot be visible already told you okay after that when we are using the ethidium bromide what happened it look like a cherry red or orange in colors that is very very important my dears okay then after that what happened it can be stored in the dna library or dna bank okay there are so many libraries also present in the world wide they are maintaining they are things okay so we'll pass on to the next one is called as dna fingerprint see the structure will, will be look like this there are so many components there have been uh, uh, identified different different colors are there okay so no need this one we'll pass on to the next one. what is the main application of the dna fingerprint what is the use of the fingerprinting my dear ajay what is the main use is my dear dna fingerprinting why we are going to take this sir, one identification sir mainly uh, already we discussed it isn't it so yes, the, sir. how how will you identify the mal uh, uh, mal practice person or something else isn't it we have to find yes, out the yes, culp culprit also isn't it so this is the reason see what is the main application you know identifying both victims and killers in the forensic laboratory at forensic what is the meaning of at forensic media in tamil we may call this tadayavil isn't it mostly they were used for which one you know the uniform service whatever it may be whether uh, theft whether murder or uh, any other any other uh, what is a mal practice we can use it which one you know so dna fingerprint isn't it okay second one is determining paternity that is the true biological father or mother of the child suppose some person doing uh, uh, what is that unwantedly they get child you know 
So the boy or girl, they may be refused. This is not my son. This is not my daughter. Like that means they went for war, war. DNA test. What is the meaning of DNA test? DNA test is nothing but the samples were taken from the both the parent as well as the child also. Isn't it? After that, they undergo the process. What is that? Already we discussed. Okay. So the isolation of the DNA and the split and uh, fragmentations also there. After the fragmentations, what you have to do now? Amplifications. And then it, it's also running into the gel electrophoresis. After the gel electrophoresis, what are the things is there? Nitrosol's fingerprint, you have to take DNA fingerprint is also you have to take on. Then compare with the child as well as the mother, child as well as the uh, uh, father. Isn't it? So which one is matching? Suppose if it is matched, both of the child as well as the father, what happened now? Who is the culprit? Father is the culprit. Suppose if it is not matching, means mother's saying lies. So these are the uh, identification. Sometimes they do, they are doing. Okay. So this is also very, very important, my dear. And the second one is called as identifying crime and catastrophe victims. This is also crime means murder, whatever it may be. Okay. And take an example, sir. Uh, some of the gals also, you know, the school uh, 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 rape and so and so. So, okay. These are all the malpractice also. How will you identify with the help of the DNA fingerprinting? Not only that, and also there are special methodologies also there for identification of the um, culprits. Okay. And also, so identifying the endangered and protected species as an aid of wildlife official. How will you identify the endangered species? You know about the dinosaurs is present or not now, my dear? Dinosaurs is not there. Okay. How will they will uh, identify it? Okay. With the help of the blood sample only, WBC have to isolate just to go and check it there. Uh, Jurassic Park in first film. Okay. One of the scientists is there. Okay. The scientists identified or discovered or invent, which one you know, the DNA molecule from the mosquito of the gum uh, from a tree isn't it so isolate and the dna from wbc also isolate then wbc into the dna isolate and then the fragmentation takes place and the amplification also there then only what happened on the exact dinosaurs also produce that is very very important my dear students and uh, so identify endangered and protected species as an aid to wildlife official also this is also one, another one and the last one is matching organ donors with this recipient in the transport program. So this is also very, very important. Suppose any one of the person suffering from the heart, heart failure or lungs, kidney, okay. So a liver, okay. So and then and also spleen or whatever it may be, which organs, some person they will give donation, isn't it? Both are matching. How will you identify? This one is fixed for this person, donor and the recipient. Both are. Uh, genes also, suppose if it is matched, 99% are already in our 99.9% .9 it will be matching, isn't it? The 0.1% will be differ already in our board. But in organ donor with recipients, it's also very, very important DNA fingerprinting. Okay, my dear. So, you know, my dear, so you know very well about your uh, uh, ancestor. Ajay, I ask you one question from you. Yes, sir. Uh, you know very about the 10 years before your grandparent, where they were lived. Can you guess? We cannot, isn't it? Sir, no, sir. <laughs> yes, because it is complicated, isn't it? Some of them are migrating from, now you are migrating from Madurai to Bangalore, isn't it? Suppose in, in, in your, in your uh, ancient uh, 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 family members, they can migrate from here to London, London to uh, somewhere else, um, uh, New York and somewhere else, you know, how will you identify means you cannot to find out. You have to take the samples. Okay. And you have to identify the DNA molecules. Then whether it mates or you, you and your uh, family members, other persons, who is that uh, we are going to interested. Okay. So we, suppose if it is match, you know, oh, he's our, uh, our relatives. Like that, we may come to the conclusion, isn't it? Already you saw it, the film is uh, 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 seven cents. Yela Marivu in Tamil, isn't it? Surya actor, isn't it? Yes, sir. So, what will be the uh, uh, research there, Pa, media? 
What do you believe that research is uh, doing uh, yes, Kamal Ghasan's daughter? Genetic engineering, isn't it? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. Sir. He took a, uh, what is that, comb. That, uh, there is a hair from the comb, isn't it? And I saw it is the DNA. It matched the uh, Bodhidharma, isn't it? Yes, sir. Okay, same same process also here. Yes. Just, you, just uh, these are all our uh, genetic engineering, biotechnology, gene technology, molecular based, molecular biology. So that things we are going to study means it is very, very interesting. Interesting and also very uh, uh, achieve and uh, meant also. We can do that, achieve also. Okay, okay. See that one. Next, we'll pass on to the next one is gene library. After that, DNA isolated and analyze the molecules we can store in the library. What is the meaning of library, my dear? What is the meaning of library? If you want to, if you want to, no. Sir, it's a collection, sir, basically. Collection of? Sir, many items. Many Except items. For books. Books. Particularly, we may collect the information, particularly, isn't it? Okay. Suppose yes, if you want to, if you want to collect the information about the plant means where will you go? Sir, herbarium. Where will you make? Sir, yeah? ah, sir ah. botanical gardens or herbarium, sir. Okay, very good. Exactly correct, my dear. So exactly correct. Okay. So these are all our, what is it? Suppose if you want to know the animals mean we are going to the zoos or somewhere else, isn't it? Museum, isn't it? Yes, sir. Likewise, suppose if you want to know the gene, a particular animal gene means we have to move on to gene library. Okay. What is the meaning of gene library? Gene library is nothing but a storage of all living organisms, isn't it? Even take an example, prokarya to uh, uh, higher animals or... Uh, plant to animals. So what are the chromosome is there? What are the DNA structure is there? How many nucleotide is there? How many base pair is also there? All the information they will they will be stored in the where in the gene library. And not only that, you know, but uh, 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 four types of typhoid. What are they? Salmonella, typhic, salmonella. Okay. What about the malaria? Malaria, just to go there. No need to the, go uh, the, here. Go to the uh, malaria. Level. How many types of malaria already you studied, my dear? Four types of malaria is there. What is that? Plasmod pl uh, plasmodium, vivax, plasmodium, vovale, plasmodium, malaria, plasmodium, falciparum. Isn't it? Four types is there. Yes, but sir. So all are serum, virus, overlay, oh. malaria. Okay, in one more is that four is that okay? So four are same gene only. Okay, four are there uh, four uh, microorganisms or what happened? You know, they are all are bacteria or virus. Plasmodium, isn't it? Protozoa, isn't sir, it? Plasmodium, yes, sir. Plasmodium, protozoa. But they are having a gene sequence, you know. DNA is also there. Yes, sir. Okay. So, so what will be the comparison between these things? There is a, uh, uh, what is that, you know, that uh, phylogenetic tree, phylogenetic tree also, monococcus, diplococcus, triplococcus, uh, uh, tetrococcus like that is also, and also the spirillum also there, so many microorganisms is there. So, each one has a specific nucleoside and also nucleus sequences also there, gene, genome is also there. Okay, how it will be related? This one is related to that one. It may come first. It may come next. You know, there is a phylogenetic tree. Okay, they are all are depends upon their adenine, guanine, thymine. There is a four nucleotide bases only, nitrogen bases only. It is basic, basically fixed. Okay, see that one. Gene library, otherwise called a genomic library. A gene library is a collection of many of the desired genes of the DNA fragments maintain in clones of bacteria or some other cells where there is a storaging is the maximum they were used in the, the e coli as a vector okay so e coli bacteria or some other cells also it is prepared by the following methods how they are gene library or following which method they were used First, the DNA fragments containing only a few desired genes, isn't it, my dear? 
So after the collection of sample, we are fragmenting the DNA molecule into different species, different uh, species with the help of the restriction enzyme nucleus. Restriction. Okay, nucleus. After that, desired gene is there. Okay, which one I need? This one I need because the color or uh, 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 antibody resistant substances is also. That things we are desired characters of the gene we are isolating. Okay, so that has given here. So the DNA fragments containing only a few desired genes are obtained with the help of the specific restocytic endonucleases. Endonuclease means already know where there is a cut mad media, the polyendrome. Okay, polyendrome means it will not cut anywhere. It cut a specific site only. That is called as polyendrome genes. Okay, example, I let me discuss them. Malayalam. You write in English Malayalam. You write in the right to left or left to right. You read both the meaning of same. That position, that uh, uh, position containing nucleotide, that position of the nucleotide, the enzyme is cut. Make a cut. Okay. Each fragment is joined a suitable vehicle. Okay. And DNA too from recombinant DNA is different nature. How it will be, you know, just imagine how it will be possible, you know. See here. So take an example, my dear. So this is the DNA molecule. Okay. So the DNA molecule is what is that? We are using the enzyme. Which enzyme? Restriction endonuclease enzyme, RE. Okay, restriction in the DNA restriction endonuclease. As a result, what happened? No, you will get a, what? You will get the a pieces. Okay, you have to cut a small piece like so. this. is called a small fragment. DNA, what is that? Fragment, isn't it? DNA fragment. F, F or G only I put here. So, okay, this is a DNA fragment. Okay. In this part, in this part, we need a specific, a specific, which one you know? Selective genes only. Selective gene, I will put a, a different uh, colors. Just, a, a, just I put a small mark like this. Okay. So, this gene, we have to use it. We are going to use. This gene, we are going to is imagine. Okay. This gene. How it will be amplification takes place you know, with the help of the bacteria, I told, isn't it? Bacteria. Maximum they were used, E. coli bacteria only they were used. Okay. See that E. e. coli bacteria. See. So this is considered as E. coli bacteria. E. coli bacteria look like a bacillus like structure. It has an extra chromosomal body. That is called as what is that, you know? So this is the extra chromosomal body present in the bacteria. It is collectively called as what is it? You know? Do you know that one? What is it? What about this one, my dear? The extra chromosomal body. Extra, extra. Any idea, my dear? Extra. Chromo. Somal. body. What is the ex exochromosomal body, my dear? This is called as, what is that? Ajay? Uh, yeah, what is this? It's a plasmid. Yeah, this is the plasmid. It is a circular nature, isn't it? So, the DNA molecule incorporate with this one. Incorporate this mean, means how it will be. I draw here. I draw here. How it will be. Huh? Okay. See here. So, this is the structure. So, the DNA molecule incorporate with the which one? Which molecule? This molecule is also. Okay. This one. How it will be? See that one. So, this is the green molecules which this one. Okay, so these two is united together. This united together means what is the process here occur? You know, you have to cut the location. You have to cut the molecule in this part. In this part, you have to cut. Okay, 
then only you will get the sample uh, then only you will get the uh, structure look like this look like this one so structure will be look like this one this portion will be removed this portion is removed okay this portion is removed so then only you have to what is the link these tunes this is a bacterial gene this one is a, a, a desire quality desire quality of the genes both are united together how it will be happen you know here you have to cut the dna molecule in particular po position that time we are using you no know, restriction molecular enzyme that is restriction enzymes okay restriction endonucleases so the cut is made here so it may be removed so as a result you will get the uh, structure will be like this so after that what happen you no know, the desired quality of the gene is also incorporate with the help of the ligase enzyme ligase dna ligase so what is the main uses of this one you know the ligase enzyme linking between the two dna molecule this one is the bacterial dna uh, this one is the uh, desired dna molecule so after the in, uh, after the joining of these molecules again replace into where you know the e coli one it is also again what happened now replace into the e coli okay so as a result what happened now so as a result what happened see that one so what happened in this part see so this one okay cover so now what happened at the amplification takes place means what have no the bacterial plasmids as well as the the desire quality of the dna is also what happened in you know, a replication takes place both the genes are replication takes place as a result both the character present in a single what is a organisms so now you will obtain this is the desire quality this is the vector okay we are incorporating this gene into where you know in the bacterial plasmids this is the structures so we have to do the process what is then you have to cut this a particular space and remove it and then add the desire quality and it can be grow into the where you know introduce into the uh, e coli bacteria so here what happened you know, the replication takes place during the replication process what happened you no know, the both the genes are replicate what is that in a single organism you will get the single organism isn't it so this is a desire quality okay this is a desire quality we will obtain that is very very important my dear okay do you understand my dear yes sir okay go ahead see here so this is the uh, uh, intonic each fragment is uh, joined a suitable vehicle that is the reason vehicle is nothing but the e coli bacteria and also the a suitable mo uh, uh, enzyme molecular scissors enzyme restricts an endonuclease is used for the cutting process it's also molecular scissors and uh, ligase means the foreign particle of the dna molecules combined with the desired quality of the dna molecules with the help of the ligase okay and also these are then introduced into the coast that is called as bacteria yeast and other plant or animal after the incubations after the uh, completion of the work what is the meaning completion means the both the D, uh, dna molecule foreign dna as well as the desired dna both are united and also it can be introduced into the uh, coast coast mean then only replication is possible okay it will not replicate in the uh, 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 laboratory aspects they need some uh, microorganism particularly i told you e coli as a bacteria so here what they told you know, bacteria they were used as a coast sometimes they may be used as a yeast because yeast is a one of a unicellular fungi other than yeast what happen you know or multicellular multicellular and plant or animals also plant or animal cells also the cells contain re recombinant dnas or allowed to multiply in culture so that is the things already we discuss in this part where in the in this part we discussed what is a for culture see this one so this is a bacteria okay so after the join together both the genes this one as well as a bacterial dna because the coast is essential for the replication process coast is essential for the replication process so already studied my dear what is my protoplasmic fusion my dear already studied or not yes sir study what sir. is 
how it will be uh, used, my dear? How it will be possible? Sir? Ah, how it will be? Protoplasm means we are uh, separating the protoplasm from different plants, isn't it? A plant as well as a B plant. Yes, sir. After that, we are made, we make a cut, both, both uh, gene. Which one is the desire one? Which one is we are going to introduce? So both are united, isn't it? With the help yes. of the peg. Peg means polyethylene glycol. Polyethylene glycol yes, is a yes, connective substance of the both the genes. Then after the completion of that work, we have we need some coast. Okay. That that gene is also introduced into the coast cells, particularly which one they are used, you know, E. coli. So then introduce the coast means what happened automatically? The replication, that means the replication process occurs. That replication, it contains both the genes of the different strains, isn't it? A plant genes as well as B plant genes, we will get it in a single, isn't it? That same thing is also repeated here, my dear. Don't forget, this is very, very important. See that. Okay, see that. These are then introduced into the coast, bacteria, yeast, and plant and animal cells. The cells containing recombinant DNA are allowed to multiply in culture. This is the recombinant means both the genes also multiply in cultural aspect. Cultural means the DNA also undergoes the replication process more than 100 or 1000 or whatever it may be. Isn't it? So after the culture, we can obtain means we will get both the gene in single. What is the species? Okay, so this is a thing. Okay, gene library. So already we told, okay, there is a storaging of this. What are the DNA libraries? See that a DNA library is a collection of clone of DNA. What is the clone? Both different, isn't it? Different genes are united together. That is called as clone of DNA. Designed, designed, designed. Don't forget my dear. Okay. We 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 may construct our own design. We need skin color is a bright color. We need the skin color is a, a dark color. Okay. We, our eyes are blue color. Sometimes they can take an example. European people, the eyes are blue in color. Blue, blue is in color. Some of them are having the cat eyes like that. Okay. In our areas, Indian peoples, they are having two only. One is black, one other one is called as what is the brown only. That particular gene you have to isolate from the uh, human DNA. Then it can be replaced by the foreign DNA, such as uh, that uh, European country eye, okay, that uh, which is responsible for that uh, eye color. It it can be replaced means you will become a uh, eyes of blues. Okay, that is the thing. See here. So clone of the DNA designed so that there is a highly probability of the finding any particular piece of the source DNA in the collection. So what are the types of DNA libraries? There are two types of library have been reported. One is called as a genomic library. Another one is called as cDNA library. Okay. So what is the meaning of a genomic library? The genomic library contains DNA fragments representing the entire genome of an organism. That is called a genomic library. What is the meaning of genomic library? The genomic library means any one of the fragments any one of the animals, okay, the DNA fragment is there. The DNA fragments represent the entire, okay, so entire, yes, ma'am. Pardon, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. Oh, yes, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. Cut for now, okay, 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 ma'am.
sir you are muted sir sorry sorry dear okay the gene library okay see here this is the gene library so what are the two types of gene library my dear ajay can you hear me sir genomic library and cdna library sir. yes a genomic library is nothing but a small fragment it encoded the entire genome of the organisms okay a small fragment okay the small fragments mean any one of the a u g a whatever it may be or 10 10 codons or 10 nitrogen bases is that that nitrogen base is completely encoded the the particular bacteria or whatever it may any other organism that type of genomic library is also there okay and the another one is c dna library what is the meaning of c dna is already we discussed the complementary dna the complementary dna is also comes from where you know a molecule synthesis for a mrna molecules in a cell so these are the two library have been maintained in many countries okay my dear so go to the next one the gene library the gene library is a genome library or c library already we discussed the gene library is a collection of different dna sequences from an organism each of which has been cloned into a vector for a case of purification storage and analysis so these are the things genomic libraries gene library made from genomic dna c dna libraries if the dna is a copy of mrna population that is c dna then the gene library is called as c dna library structure of representative gene libraries means containing all the or original sequences where so both the category containing the necessary restriction sites only containing a sufficient number of clones otherwise some genes will be missing so this is the very very these are the libraries the the structure related to this one so these are the three point is very very important my dear okay see the genomic library so this is the genomic library a simple uh, uh, things is the this is the uh, dna is extracted from the cell of the what is the digested with the restriction enzyme so this is the nucleus is there isn't it inside there is a nucleus is there after that you will obtain different types of nucleus is there the dna fragments are what is the inserted into the cloning vector the plasmid okay we are introducing this one is red see that the red is here and green is also there and also the violet purple is also there so after that it introduces in the e cells the actria cells so here different types different types of the dna molecule is that the, the red color is already denoted some uh, specific character suppose if it is a restriction uh, resistant of the uh, uh, penicillin or tetracycline or whatever it may be this in as a green color it is also maybe a chlorophyll molecule like that suppose this one purple take an examples of what is uh, enzymes or protein like that so this is the genomic library the gene is stored this gene is storing okay so this is the, the formations and then second one is types of gene library already we discussed the genomic library cd library already we discussed these things and see the c library c dna library how it will be this is the mrna molecule the mrna molecules obtained from where you know nucleus isn't it the nucleus what happen you know it produce dna molecule isn't it it produce the dna molecule so with the help of the reverse transcription process already we discussed in the previous chapter isn't it see that dna molecule is also there from this one the mrna released it, the mrna okay so that is called as mrna c or dna is this one so the dna c dna digest with the restriction enzyme so you will get the splitting of molecules that also see that this is a vector united together and also introduced in the coast and second repeat for you the c dna library it contain mrna sequences okay the mrna produce the uh, c dna that is called as complementary dna with the help of the enzyme is called as reverse transcription process with the help of the enzyme is called as reverse transcriptase after that you will get c dna the c dna what happened you know, it may be digested with the restriction entonyxyl as a result you will get the uh, fragments after you will obtain the fragments the desired quality or desired character of genes also isolate and also 
incorporate with the vector. See that here also there is a cut. Okay. So there is a cut is there. So it will easily fix the which one you know. This two. This is the vector uh, uh, DNA molecule. This one is the desired DNA molecule. Both are united together with the help of the ligation process. Already we discussed it, DNA ligase. After the ligation completed, what happened? Recombinant completed. Recombination is recombinant. What is the meaning of recombinant? Combination of two different genes. This is the one genes. This is the another genes. Both are united here. It is introduced into the coast. Okay, when you are introduced into the coast, what happened? The amplification, that uh, replication process which occurs within the coast only. Okay, so this seems also called as what is a, a cDNA library, this type of methodology. Okay, so this is very, very important. After that, you have to store the information in the DNA banking, otherwise called a gene banking. The gene bank, what is the meaning of bank? Bank is nothing but the library is nothing but the storage of uh, information the gene bank is nothing but the bank is nothing but the different kinds of gene storage place see that storehouse of the clone of known dna fragments genes or gene maps seeds or spores frozen sperm egg or embryos okay so these are all are comes under the heading known as what is a gene bank so what is that this is called as gene bank. Don't forget, my dear. This is it. what is the meaning of gene banking? A yeah, gene bank is storehouse of the clone of known DNA molecules. Known DNA means fragments, genes, gene map, seeds, spores, frozen spam. What is the use of frozen spams? Suppose any one of the persons, any one of the couples, they do not have the ability to produce the what is a child means they were used frozen spam and the egg and the embryos also okay for the testy baby okay some other purpose okay and these are stored for the possible use in genetic engineers okay genetic engineer and breeding experiments where species have become extinct okay suppose take an examples of dinosaurs or White, lizard, white uh, tiger and uh, some of them are disappear or extinct from the country or globe, isn't it? The DNA samples we will get it means we will reproduce. Okay. So just to go to the uh, Jurassic uh, um, film, you know, you can understand that point. That point one and two and three also see. Okay. We can easily reproduce the particular organisms. The need of gene bank is being increasingly felt as the rate of extinction is increasing day by day. This is also another one. Suppose white tiger in worldwide 10 only is there, you know, you have to produce millions. You know about the eagle, okay, the collar have the white color. But nowadays we cannot be able to see that white color eagle in this area. Okay. And some of the beneficial one is also there. One of the mosquito is also killed the, all the mosquitoes. Just such type of uh, uh, organism also we can produced laboratory aspect. Okay, the human genome project is the most remarkable contribution in this field. The human genome project. Don't forget, my dear. Human genome project means what is the meaning of human genome project? Which age, which disease will affect? We can easily identify it with the help of human genomes. Okay, so. As a gene banking. One second, repeat for you. The gene banking is the source of clone of the known DNA fragment, genes, gene maps, seeds, and spores, frozen spam, or egg or embryos. These are stored for the possible use in genetic engineering and breeding experiments where species have become extinct. The need of gene bank is being increasingly felt as the rate of extinction in, is increasing day by day. The human genome project is the most remarkable contribution in this field. This is very, very important. Idea. See the gene bank. So these are the samples. Gene bank samples. It contains a number of them. What is that? Number of what is that? Genes. It may be plant or animal or whatever it may be. We may collect the information, a particular genes. Okay. So, so the, I think that it may be finished in that's all in this part okay so see here 
the question part is there very very important the transfer dna smear from gel to nylon membrane is called as what is that hybridization electrophoresis clotting and also cropping which is one is correct my dear the transfer of dna smear from gel to nylon membrane is called as what is that ajay do you understand this question hello the process is called as hybridization isn't it my dear do you understand that one see the answer is the hybridization and second one is called as the the probe used in the dna fingerprint techniques or the probe which uh, probe we were used you know radioactive natural dna uh, rna with known sequences this is very very important so all are having known only unknown we cannot be able to use here unknown sequence here unknown here known sequence radioactive synthetic they told him. no we cannot be able to synthetic one only we were used it which one you know natural one natural only okay so we cannot use the synthetic one and then third one is which of the following sequences of the steps is correct in dna fingerprinting okay already we discussed southern plating first one is correct electrophoresis yes and hybridization yes and the auto radiography so this is the correct one so auto radiography first it will not come electrophoresis it will not come hybridization and it will not come so the first one is the answer is correct the southern plating method first which method we are using and then electrophoresis we have to run the collection of uh, uh, dna fragment into the electric field after that hybridization occurs then analyzed and stored so this is the last one and then hyper variable regions of the dna is formed of okay so in this part mini satellite dna micro satellite dna and prop both one and two which one is correct you know here hyper variable hyper variable means you know about different is there. okay hyper variable mostly which one is correct one and two mini satellite and a micro satellites so this is the very very important one my dear okay so the lesson is completely finished my dear here in this part molecular base of inheritance the lesson is completely finished so next uh, lesson is what is that uh, biotechnology we will see the next class before that we uh, we have to go through it once again a summary of this one okay first one dna fingerprinting so what are the application of the dna fingerprinting identifying both victim and killer in the forensic libraries determine paternity that is the true biological father or mother of the child identifying crime and uh, catastrophe victims the identifying endangers and the protected species and aid to wildlife life officials and the matching organ donor with the recipients in the transplant program okay these are the main important of the dna fingerprint so next what is my dna uh, gene library otherwise called as genomic library the gene library is nothing but the collection of many of the desired gene of the dna fragment and maintain in the clone of the bacterial or some other cells it can be stored in the uh, 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 or uh, animal sorry cells only there is a course they need without codes what happen at the gene it will not store this is prepared by the following method already you know what about how it will be desired genes are obtained with the help of the specific restriction endonuclease after that the fragmentation is also occur and also it is also uh, joined with the suitable vehicle vehicle is nothing but the maximum e coli or yeast or some other things is also already discussed these are then introduced into the coast the bacteria yeast and plant or animals the cell containing repugnant dna are allowed to multiply in cultural aspects that things also already we discussed say so the gene library already we discussed what are the types of gene libraries that there are two types of gene library have been reported one is called as a, a, a genomic library another one is called as c dna library the c dna library is not nas a complementary dna library is the 
So a genomic library means the genomic library contain DNA fragments representing the uh, entire genome of the organisms. The cDNA library contain only the complementary DNA molecules synthesized from the mRNA molecule in a cell. So the, this is already we discussed in the previous things. This is the things. Genomic library is this one. See that one? So this is the cells. We are isolating the uh, 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 nucleus from the gene. Gene is also fragmented with the help of the restriction endonucleases. Okay. So after that, what we are going to do, you know, it may be combine the uh, foreign particle as well as the other component also. Then it may be stored in the where now? Store in the cells. This is the bacteria cells already discussed. Okay. So go to the next one. Uh, uh, C library. Okay. C library, isn't it? C library already known or complementary library. Here the mRNA is also produced the uh, C DNA molecules with the help of the enzyme is called as reverse transcriptase process and reverse transcriptase enzyme. Okay. So after that, what happened? You will obtain the fragments. That fragment is also combined together with the help of the vector. After that, after that, it may introduce into the host and store in the gene bank. Okay. So this is the gene banking. What is the meaning of gene banking? Already we discussed that things also, isn't it? So gene banking as well as the what are the things that they may store, you know, the gene bank is storehouses of the clone of the known DNA fragment, gene, gene maps, seeds or spores, frozen spams, eggs or embryos. Okay. So here the main important is that human genome project is the most remarkable contribution in this field. Okay. That is very, very important, my dears. Okay. In this point, this is the DNA gene bank. Yeah, here they were stored with so many animals and plants genomes in this part okay so you should note it on where there is a gene being bank is there location of the gene banks and where there is a uh, gene bank maximum delhi bangalore which one is the uh, metropolitan cities okay there what is that the gene bank is presented okay my dear thank you so much for the participation we'll see the remaining things on the next class in the new chapter okay thank you so much bye take care good night Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir.